Earlier, a guy gave me a call about an old Chevy. I'm a sucker for vintage rides, so Chum and I are on our way to check it out. Hey, how's it going? Glad to see you. So what do we got here? Well, we got a 1956 Chevy quarter mile race car. You always did want your own race car. Yeah, that is badass. Call the guys on the pawn shop down today. Take a look at this 56 Chevy quarter mile car. I have to move, and I can't take it with me. I would not let this car go for less than 35000 So where did you get it? I had a friend who raced stock cars, and I got it from him for cheap. When I bought it, it was half finished. But I built a whole new package for it. I did everything myself. Well, the body looks nice. It looks pretty beefed up for a Chevy, man. <laughs> well, it is. It's a drag car. It was built specifically to race on a quarter mile closed racetrack because they go really fast, really quick. It's going to run faster than 150, and it's going to need a parachute. Nice. You can take this car right now, put the suit on, and go race it. You don't have to do anything to it. It's ready to go. All right. Drag racing got real popular in the late 1940s. Chevy came out with a lot of vehicles that were really easy to upgrade and make fast. So do you mind if I take a look around? Please do. That's got a full cage in it now. This is pretty cool. It's certified by the National Hot Rod Association, which means that the inspector came out here and went over this thing and said it meets all the specs for a safe race car. OK. Do you mind if I look under the hood? No, sir, I'd like you to. Yeah, it definitely looks fast, I'll tell you that. It's fast. The engine was originally made for offshore racing boats. Really? Yeah. I said, well, if they're good enough for the ocean, they're good enough for the street. We just started it yesterday for the first time. So, I mean, you've never took this down the track yet? No, it's brand new, brand new. With all the work this guy's done to this car, I'm sure anyone crazy enough to race it would love to have it. I just wish he had tested it first. So what do you want to do with it? I'm thinking about selling it. What did you want to get out of it? The car is worth 55. I was thinking maybe I could get 42. I mean, I'm a little concerned that you haven't tested it. I know a guy who will know everything about this car. So let me get my buddy out here, let him look at it, and um, maybe we can make a deal on this thing. Sounds good. All right, I'll be right back. Whoever they bring in, if he's competent, he will see the workmanship that's gone into that vehicle. It is pretty, isn't it? Whew. For a drag car, I mean, this car is beautiful. You've had the car inspected and oh, certified? absolutely, all the way through. It's got a stamp on a bar. I can run 850 with it right now. 850? Yeah. 850, meaning that they've certified this car to be allowed to run as fast as an eight and a half second quarter mile time, which is insane fast. Rick, what's your concerns, brother? What's it worth? How well is the motor built? All right, let me check this thing out. Give it the once over. Ah, absolutely beautiful. Door shut's gorgeous. The whole body here is just beautiful. It's just straight as an arrow. Thank man. you. Absolutely. Wow. Can we can we open up the hood? Yeah, just pull the pull the pins. <laughs> Not a lot of engines make me giggle, but good lord almighty, this is beautiful. Look at that injection system. Can we fire it up here? Absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> That smell is delicious. Man, oh man, it sounds great. Take it for a test drive, Danny. It's not something you would do out on the public roads at all. You've got to be in a controlled environment. And if the surface of the road isn't proper, one rear wheel might pull harder than the other, and it could send you into somebody's house. So we can't take it for a test drive. Is everything all right without a test drive? the fact that it's been NHRA certified, that basically tells me the car is magnificent. So the question is the engine itself. It sounds great. The execution of the build, the way you put this car together, it's absolutely beautiful. I would certainly think that it would be safe to negotiate a fair offer on this car. So what kind of money are you talking? Um, to put a number on this car, it's difficult. There's probably 60 grand, 70 grand worth of just parts list on this car. That motor's probably worth 40 grand. You build a hot rod 
you never get your money back out of it. That's just how it is. You know, it's worth whatever somebody's going to pay for it. That's the type of car that it is. At least you know pretty much what the components are worth. Go from there. I hope it helps. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, man, my pleasure. It's a race car, and it's a show car. It's amazing to see the quality of this build. It's gorgeous. All right, so how much do you want for it? Knowing what's in there, 42. 42 I can't do. Um, I'll give you 30 grand. That's just not enough. I got to make some money, and it's the economy. Um, I'll go 35 on it. I know I got to take a loss on it. How about 38? I'll go 37. 37? Bye, honey. That's a deal. All right, it's a deal. I got this car for an amazing deal, and I'm already thinking about some people who might be interested. All in all, a great day.